Elaine O'Neill and Valley Foil Sports Horses based in Carberry, County Kildare in Ireland and as part of our Hack and Chat series. So I hope you uh, join us and we'll go for a chat and catch up with Elaine and see how everything's going. Here, how did this yard, beautiful yard all get set up? I'm here four years this yeah. month actually and it is belonging to a long-term owner of mine. Mm -hmm. He built the yard. It was purpose-built for me and the horses. So I'm very lucky that way. And it's brilliant to have. It's a lovely, quiet yard. Yeah, beautiful. Of Pl plenty of turnout and everything yeah, for the horses. Yeah, loads of turnout. Anything we could want for the horses, it's here, really. And speaking of um, everything that you want for the horses, you know, what do you consider the most important credential for setting up your own yard for anybody that's thinking of building, say, the purpose-built? What's what's the most haves in a yard for people building? Um, for me, bright, airy stables, yeah. and an arena with a really good surface for yeah. jumping horses in particular. Yeah, that's for me. Um, plenty of turnout for the horses. We turn out all year round. Yeah. Um, to me, that's very important for the horses' mindset and well-being. So, within your yard, Elaine, you've got everything from. Bally Connell Tango winning the four-year-old Horseboard Ireland final right up to this lad here, Olympic, who's a yep. Grand Prix horse. Yep. Um, tell us a little bit where you like to focus on. Is it development of the young horses or jumping those big tracks? I really love producing the young horses from the ground right up from the beginning, from breaking yeah. them right through. It's That's what we did with this guy. Yeah. We bought him as a three-year-old and we produced him the whole way up to yeah. 150 Grand Prix. So. Wow, it's, that's so much cheaper, yeah, so it is. I love, doing, I love doing the young horses. It's very rewarding. It can be hard sometimes when it doesn't go the way you want it to go. Yeah, yeah. But when, when you have the good days, they're very, very good. And tell me, looking at young horses, you know, where would you source them and what would you look for in a young horse? Um, looking for them to have good canter, mm -hmm. to be nice temperaments, easy to work with. Um, obviously, good reflexes. And careful to jump. Um, we we always seem to end up with quite big ones. Yeah. <laughs> we don't yeah. know. I wasn't expecting this. Them, but, um, something handy, I said, Elaine. Something, something handy. handy. <laughs> but uh, the only small one I have is Tango. <laughs> I'm not allowed to ride Tango, no. Um, he's really sharp. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. So um, good canter, sharp good canter, reflexes. Sharp reflexes. A bit of scope and size about them. Yeah, and, um, and a good brain. Trainable brain, yeah. And any in particular in terms of breed, like is, is it? Do we need that continental? Do we need a I, bit of the? I do. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think you need that yeah. kind of extra bit of blood, good and judgment. that sharpness about them. I think they need that little bit of a. I don't know if quirk is the right word, but that. Yeah. I think they all need that something special about them. Your highlights so far. My of your career of my career was oh going back to jumping my very first big grand prix with my own mare ballycool and flight yeah that was one of my biggest achievements i never really i always dreamed of getting to 150 level but never thought yeah. it would happen and she was another one we produced right up from the start and then i suppose my next biggest achievement is this guy yeah he's special how do you cope with the owners? I think sometimes it's the animals are easier to deal with than the humans, but uh, some of it, them it's to encourage more owners into the bit into the business into the industry. How, how do you look after your owners? Because obviously you look after them very well because yep. they leave the horses with you. Yeah, I'm very lucky. I have two or three really really good owners. Yeah. Um, they listen to what I say about the horses, and we sit down regularly and have chats about where they're going and what they're doing. I send it, yeah, communication. Yeah. One of my owners, the guy that owns this horse, Keith, he lives in the US. So for me, it's important to keep them updated regularly. Yeah. Um, we send them videos and updates at least once a week. Yeah, that's that's really yeah, good. That's really is. good. So um, it doesn't matter what part no, of the world they're in, they no, get the information, they get, the information get the videos, get the videos, get the pictures. Yeah. They're always kept up to date on what the horses are doing and where they're going. We're breeding better horses. Do you breed if any any yourself? We used to breed quite a bit. We bred one foal this year. He's only three weeks old. He's yeah. by good luck BDL out of an Abab de So okay. we'd be hopeful of him, hopefully in four years. Of the shows in Ireland, what is your favorite show? Um, I love 
big show will be Dublin. Has yeah. to be number one always. Yeah. It's just such a fantastic show. The atmosphere. Yeah. The writers you get to see at it. Yeah. It is just an amazing show. Um, more than national shows. Uh, definitely Cavan is one of my favourites. Yeah. Probably my favourite show. I love going to Cavan and Mullingar as well. You just have good arenas, good surfaces, good course builders. And they are great for the young horses. Yeah. And talks of surfaces, you know, grass or sand, which would you prefer to be jumping on? A good grass arena all day long. Horses yeah. always seem to, to love it. You go Light to the likes of Balmoral yeah. um, and Barna Down as well. Yeah. They love good the grass, grass rings there. They always get a good kick off. Elaine, you're full-time here uh, on your own and with a bit of help. Um, I know in the thoroughbred industry and in the sport arts industry, it's always a struggle to get good staff. Yeah. So uh, how do you manage? Or it is, is it an issue? It is. It's a big issue at the moment. I'm lucky in the fact that my family helps me a lot. Yeah. And I do have a really good girl that helps me out a few days a week as well. Yeah. So okay. it's, um, and then at the shows, we always have plenty of help, which we're lucky to have. But to get full-time staff is very hard. Is there anything we can do, do you think, to encourage people? I don't why. What I find a lot of the time is they're lacking training. Yeah. Um, a lot of the younger people, I'm about to make this old. <laughs> we are old, mate. Yeah. Um, I just think a lot of them lack general horsemanship. Yeah. They've not been taught from the ground up. The way and what were. makes a good horsemanship in a person? What? I just think knowing your horse, knowing its likes, dislikes, whether yeah. it looks like it's in good form or not. When you them. walk into the barn in the morning, yeah. the first thing we check for anyway is yeah. the person that their heads are out over the door, that they're yeah. bright and alert. And yeah. It's, um, it's an innate... To uh, me, it's very important yeah. that you know your horse and you know what each one makes each one tick, yeah. basically. We're based here in Kildare. Yep. The grass looks amazing. The weather's good today, even though it is <laughs> uh, autumnal. And... Um, on a daily routine, you know, are you in the arena? Are you in the beautiful laneways? Um, are you hacking? We try to alter it further. We do a bit of work in the field when they're not too wet. Yeah. Um, we hack out the road here a good bit as well with them, uh, just to keep it varied. And then we do our training in the arena. And we'd also take them off site to school as well with my own trainer. So we're just back from exercising the horses. I'm here with Elaine O'Neill and Bally Four um, Sport Horses in Kildare. I think one of the big things, um, exercise is right, you've got everything well. The nutrition of your horses, um, you can see that you're using quality brands here. Tell us a little bit about what you feed them every day. Um, our horses are all fed on gay horse feed and the TRM supplements. Um, we just find that that works for our horses, that gives them what they need. Um, are you on hay or haylage? Um, we're they're all on haylage. Uh, same thing. We've kind of got our haylage off the same guy for I think thirteen years now. Oh, so consistency. It's always, yeah, consistency. very good quality. Yeah. And if you have one that just needs that extra bit of pep in a step, is there anything particular you do get fitter feed wise? What would you add? Um, feed wise, if we want to get one that needs that bit more energy, we feed the racehorse cubes, or we they're all fed the Speed XL. And if we find one that needs extra energy at a show, we use the bioactive. Okay, and that works for you at a show. That works okay. at the shows. And then, of course, there's always the, the crack pot that you need calming down a little bit yeah. in terms of feed. <laughs> do you just That's, play in water um, or what do, what do we feed? No, we still feed them um, mostly easy go cubes and uh, it's good as gold. Yeah, that the helps them plus, keep them yeah, under that, control. Yeah, that is very good. Yeah, so that is really good. And then the good as gold syringes on the show days. Excellent, excellent. We're here with TRM Ambassador Elaine O'Neill and it's time for a few quick fire questions. You ready, Elaine? Oh yeah. All right, real Mare quick. Show. Okay. Mayor or Gelding? Mayor. Favourite food? Pasta. Favourite restaurant? Galileo's. Two van or jeep box? Jeep and box? Uh, two van. Beer or wine? Wine. Favourite car brand? Audi. Platted or not platted? Platted. Night in or night out? Night in. One place you'd love to go on holidays? Oh, um, Maui. First thing you would buy if you won the lotto? New horse truck. Water jump or triple bar? Triple bar. Related distance or double? Related distance. Brown or black tag? Brown. First job? 
um, working in the case of Holstein in dressage yard. Okay. Hidden talent. Don't have one. <laughs> Trait that most defines you. Um, stubbornness. <laughs> Biggest fear. Spiders. Noseband or cross noseband. Cross noseband. Navy or black show gear? Navy. Boots or chaps? Boots. Thank you.